I just used generative fill to make a Christmas card out of a normal, ordinary portrait. Let me show you how I did it. All right, so I'm in Photoshop. By the way, these are not my kids. This is an AI generated family. Okay, first I'm gonna hit select and mask and I'm gonna select my boy's shirt and his sleeve. Okay, then I'm gonna click on generative fill and I'm gonna type in red holiday Christmas sweater and that'll generate this weird looking sweater. Eh, I guess I'll go with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna select his collar which looks a little funky. Select that, hit generative fill, and just hit generate. See if that it cleans up a little bit. Eh, a little better. Still looks a little bulky. I'm just gonna go to layer, merge visible to clean up my project. Now I'm gonna select my girl here. I'm gonna hit generative fill. And I'm gonna type in wearing holiday Christmas sweater. Generate. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go with that one. I'm just gonna remove this weird design on the front. So I'm going to hit generative fill and just hit generate and that should clean it up. Okay. Now I'm just going to merge visible again, clean this up and I'm going to select my boy's sweater again. And I'm going to try to fix this, make it a little better. Hit generative fill. And I'm just going to type in holiday Christmas sweater. Oh, good. It matches the sister. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to use that one. Let me just see if I can fix the sleeve here. Okay, now I'm gonna actually select part of the background. I'm gonna lose the structural stuff, but I'm just gonna select part of the wall here and I'm gonna type in large Christmas tree. Okay, I'll select a portion in the back here and I'll type in holiday decorations in background. I don't need two trees. All right, this one's nice. It's kind of like a wreath. There you have it. An ordinary picture turned into a Christmas card with generative fill.